Kia ora everyone, welcome to the ILT Stadium in Macargill. We've just seen the Southern Steel host the Firebirds. What a match. The Firebirds taking it 60 points to 44. Very disappointing for the Steel. It was disappointing because I had big hopes for them. Being the only team in the competition to have one change, so that foundation I thought would have brought them through tonight. However, they did have a really good defensive um, passages throughout the game and some good touches, I think, on attack. Yeah, shining lights, Phoenix uh, Karaka. I mean, she was excellent, wasn't she? Oh, like they said, she's a product of the future and she got some deaf tips, especially against a player like Aiken in the back there. She's tall. The momentum that she gets when she comes around her and then goes out and gets intercepts on the outside of the circle was just amazing to watch and such an excitement for New Zealand netball. Absolutely, just 20 years old from Auckland. Um, the Firebirds, so they were a very good team tonight. I mean, they've got to be contenders, surely. I might, it might be a bit early to say that, but they played very well, didn't they? They did play well, and they played as a team. They had a few changes through the midcourt in the second quarter, but that didn't change anything. I think it definitely strengthened the team. But one of the players that I thought stood out there was Amy Wilde. She connected with Aiken in the circle, and that whole attacking end at that so well. It was like she's played with them for more than just six or seven months. She was really key. The whole that... Um, goal at uh, Medhurst left when she gave the opportunity to aim and she took it and ran with it and she's got some great mid-quarters around her. So that was her. the match here and here are the stats. Uh, what stands out for you? For me, I think it was the goal percentages. I think uh, the attempts at halftime were similar but the percentage was down, it was like 50%. It did creep up because Janine Fowler shot at 100%. Um, for me, the penalties was huge for the Firebirds, uh, 66 to Southern Steel's 54. So the Southern Steel go down in their first match of the 2014 ANC Championship season. They've got the Pulse next weekend and we'll see you for the next match.